Whoo, we what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie P all day today. I'm bringing you a knife. Ooh, I didn't know I was gonna be bringing you until my man reached out to me and asked me if I would review his knife. This is his personal knife, and let me tell you a little something about who his is. So I'm even gonna show you his homepage here on right there. This is what you want to look for, right? You see what it says there? It says Gene and Kayla Johnson. Now a little something about Mr. and Mrs. Gene and Kayla Johnson. So these guys were like the, the true blade brother and sister, wife and sister. I wonder how you call that if they're married. Are they brother and sister of the blade? But they were just blade folk. And they are subbed to everyone who's basically in the brother of the blade circle. You all know who it is and everybody knows who we are. Um, but they're subbed to everybody. They comment on everybody's video. They take part in everybody's giveaways. They do everything. They're always, always behind us. They decided to start their own channel finally. Finally. And they're doing good. It's a good channel. And right now, um, they have 61 subscribers. 61. I just, I don't know if you guys, they're good, right? It's like Scab, Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors, on his way to 5,000. You know why he's on his way to 5,000? Because he's good. He's worth it. Sub to him. Congratulations, Shredder. Young man. Um, just made a thousand. I'm going to be picking up a knife for a giveaway for that. I'll probably go out today and find something. Um, but these guys, Gene and Kayla Johnson, um, completely worth subbing to. Let's get over there and give them some love because they, especially if you have a knife channel, if you're a, a channel person, um, and you're not sub to them, sub to them because I guarantee you they're sub to you. Let's share the love. Um, so anyway, he said, he asked me, he said, you know, would you review this knife if I sent it to you as long as you send it back? I said, sure. I got to give it back. So this is the Joker Nomad, 10 inches overall, five inch blade. I wonder how much inches that leaves the handle in. Um, but you're talking about black G10, red liners, five millimeters thick. Um, it's a really nice looking knife. It's, it's a modified clip. You can see the break right here. It looks like almost like a drop point, but it's not. It's a clipper. Um, just really nice. It's um, Bowler N695 steel. Um, as a matter of fact, I believe it says it right on there. Look at that right there. So um, so everything about this knife, the, the construction and the materials, you say, all right, well, it can't be bad, right? Wrong. It can be. But I don't think it is. Um, I've been playing with this for the last little bit. And um, this knife is really nice. It's extremely comfortable in the hand. Um, great contour and great handle size. Uh, I, I love the jimping, how it's, it's non-aggressive, but enough to where it's going to do its job. You can feel it. Um, so far, everything I like. The only thing is it's a it's a convex edge. So, you know, it's, it's round like this, which means it's going to be strong and stout. But usually convex you're not getting that razor paper thin sharpness, but depending on what you're using it for, you might not need that. You know what I mean? Um, is it sharp enough to pop some hairs still? Yeah. Yeah. So is it, is it still shave sharp? Absolutely. So that means with it being this sharp, you can still do some skinning. And if it's a stout convex edge, that's sharp. That means it's near indestructible. So I have to say that convex done right is really good and this one seems so far to have been done really freaking good so we're not going to waste a lot of time in here chit chatting we're going to get out we're going to use it and then i'm going to pack it up and send it back um but i'm really stoked that he uh that he sent this to me it does come with paracord uh i believe two meters of paracord uh when you buy it stock and but i'm guessing he did this one himself it's a braid with a little bear head and uh it's cool, man. It's really cool. So, uh, so far I'm digging the whole package. Let's, let's take it out. Let's take it in. I just wanted to show you this real quick. The, um, the sheath drain hole, really good double stitched, oh, fine, fine leather. That smells good. Ooh, Gene, you're getting this back all smelled up. Ah, so, um, nice, nice sheath. You even have hollow rivets for, um, mounting, and you can put more uh, more cordage on there too, which is really good. So now let's go out. It's a nice sunny day today. The snow is melting. We got snow the other day and 
Yes, everything looked bad, but now the, the, the ground is starting to dry, so this is a good day to get out here. Good day. All right, so let's start with some um, four-foot drops. I'm wondering how the bare head is going to affect the weight. We'll soon find out. It does pull a little, but that's because of this. Otherwise, it would drop really nice. I'm going to try some downward throws. Again, the bare head is going to be in the way a little bit, but I'm just going to hold it at the end. We'll see how this bite is. Oh, my God, it's fantastic. I love how it's thick all the way to the tip of the knife. It's just, it really, really is a thick blade. Man, it's got some good bite. There's no loosening in the, in the scales. That wouldn't even be associated with being kind of an issue. Now, normally I love to smash down, but this little bear is going to smash into me if I do that. So I'm going to have to hold it up to a way to where it's not going to come back down and smash my finger. All right, here we go. It does have an exposed pommel, too. I didn't really go over that little hammer end, um, which is nice. Ooh, oh, that little bear got me. All right, let's see. Ugh. Oh, God, that thing. Man, I would have had to buy him a new one if it snapped, but I had so much confidence in this. I knew I wasn't going to be buying a new one. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll be buying myself a new one because so far, so far, I like the entire package. Let's try the half-inch nylon rope. Ugh. And... On a push cut, simple, simple, simple. Here's the thing with the convex edge, not every one goes through that that little deal right there. That really shows, you know, it's a testament of how well they sharpen their knives and how well they keep their edges. Um, that was actually really nice. Let's try the uh, extension cord. Man, that little that little bear, killing me with that little bear. Very nice, very nice, straight through. All the little metals, is there gonna be any chipping or denging or denting? No, there's none of that. None of that going on. Let's see if we can get, now it is a used edge. Normally I, I you know, I test brand new edges to give you an idea, but this is a used edge. And we're gonna see if the used edge can hit four layers of leather straight through, straight freaking through. On a used edge, that thing was just butter. I'm talking butter, that was really, really nice. Let's see. I'm going to try and hold the bear down this time. Maybe. Man, this bear is killing me. Maybe I'll flip it around. That's what I'll do. Through the tire. Absolutely. freaking lootly Now, it's a big, fat, thick blade. That's why I didn't scream all the way to the end. But is it going to pierce? 100%. 100-freaking percent. I got an idea. Let's give it a, let's give it a tip test. Let's give it a tip test. I mean, I don't own it. <laughs> Sorry, Gene. Let's try to go through the wheelbarrow here. Oh, that is a good, good um, penetrating dent right there. That is really good. Let's see. Any bending or damaging or anything like that? No, this is the Joker Nomad, damn it. This thing is, this thing is pretty good. It was designed by... Um, Jay Sabater. I don't know how to pronounce his name. If I screwed it up, Jay, I apologize. But um, I think he did a great job. I think he did a great job. I like this knife. This is really nice. This is really nice. Let's go. Um, it's not a chopper, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna get out and at least chop a little something, right? Because anything less would be uncivilized. All right. So let's bring you guys down here a little bit. And you know what? I might just hold a piece up since I have one right here. So being not a chopper, not made to be a chopper, guaranteed it's got chop. Oh, that bear is kicking my ass. Oh, now I don't have a grip. All right, so this is what I recommend. Don't put big, hard things on the end of your braids if you plan on using your knife. That is kicking my ass. Let's try to get it to the back. Oh, I'm losing so much grip. Losing grip. This is why I don't even use lanyards. I'm just going to have to take the whipping. So, for a non-chopper... Ah! For a, <laughs> that knuckled me up. For a non... <laughs> son of a bitch. For a non-chopper, it's, uh, it's taking care of the task quite easily, too. Quite easily. Let's see. Oh, man. That one hit me right in the thumbnail. All right. I am absolutely hating the little medallion. All these companies, 
they make these little medallions and they go, look how cool you personalize your knife. Yeah, yeah, until you use it. Then it stops being cool. <sighs> no problem. Man, this knuckle. I don't know if you can see how red that is. I just got dinged up. I think it actually cut a little bit. <laughs> Things I do. All right, so, so now we know how that works. <laughs> this lazy son of a bitch. He come outside because he needed to pee. He's like, I'm just gonna lay down. Still alive? Yep. Still alive. I don't know how. He's an old boy. All right, man. That really dinged me. Let's see. Let's see. Man. Man. Oh man. Not a problem. Not a problem, not an issue, not a worry. Let's get a good look at that exposed tang right here. That little pommel. So nice. Listen. That's on my knuckles. Damn. Eh. Oh, man. I wish there was a way to get that off of there. Because it would have come off and I would have had to put it back on. Whew. Oh, man. Oh, man. So let's get over here and do some, uh, do some batoning. Um, we already know what it's going to do. It's going to go right through because if it's chopping, it's batoning. That's just kind of goes hand in hand, but we got to do it. we got to do it. Do it to it. All right. Let's see if this one's not going to be big, too big for the five inch blade. I think it will be just enough, just enough. All right, I got some knots down there. I want to get to, so I got to get a better angle than I just did. All right, knocking it down a little bit to give, him, give myself some more steel. And then we're gonna get to the bottom. We're gonna find our way through these knots. It's like, it's like it doesn't even know they're there. It said, oh, there's knots. I was supposed to, I was supposed to slow down or have problems. My bad. Golly. This is just nice. This is just nice. Straight through the knots. Knots a knots a problem. Knots a problem. I mean, it went through knots, knots. Look at this. That's just shearing them. And it didn't even slow the blade down. A lot of times you'll hit the knots. The blade will slow down. It'll get stuck a little bit. It'll take some extra strong hammering. Not this one. Not this one. This knife is just built right. Built right. No issues on it. Nothing. I might have to hone it up, send it back to him, but might not even need that. I mean, it's the edge is the edge is still all there. It's all there. It's still shaving. Still shaving. Well, you're not gonna see that here, but still shave sharp. Insane. This thing's not so bad. I'd love to throw it. I have two issues with throwing it. One, it's not mine, and you know, even like though we like to yell first try every time. They're not always first try. But um, second, this thing. This thing, it makes it really hard. But, you know, I am what I am. I'm not Popeye the Sailor Man. But we're gonna try it anyway. Why not? Why not? Let's give this thing a go. Let's give this thing a go. hey -oh! <laughs> First try. All right. So, the Joker Nomad. I mean, <laughs> Joker, no bad. This thing is just awesome. It's a really nice knife. If you guys are looking for some quality steel, some super quality steel with, you know, great construction, just made to be a knife. Just a knife. This thing right here, man. This is one of those knives that you go to Montana and you see the cowboys wrangling cattle. This is a knife they're going to carry right here. This thing is just awesome. It's a really, really nice blade. Um, so uh, thanks to Gene and Kayla Johnson. Get over there, sub to them. I'll add a link. Uh, you know, I haven't done it yet because I haven't uploaded, so I have to try and remember. But I'm going to go wash this now and get ready to send it back. This is this is really sweet. Thank you for letting me do this. Now let's get over there, get them some subs. I am down to be all day. Until next knife.